it's a movie about a girl who relives the day she dies over and over again until she gets it right and realizes sort of the true meaning of her own life. There's a lot of talk about death and uh, mortality, uh, but the movie to me feels like a celebration of life. It's a beautiful meditation piece on time, and I know that sounds sort of like, what is she saying? Again, what is she talking about? But that's really what I took from it when I watched it the first time. This whole high school thing's just a blip. The takeaway for me has always been that the audience can appreciate the moments that they have with the people that they love and appreciate that we only have one life and that it's very quick and what we do today and tomorrow matters. Uh, life is very short and we should examine the choices that we have. So it's an appreciation of those you love and being loved. Yes, it's an appreciation of all the people in your life and I think it's also an appreciation and to always remember that all of those choices that you are making matter and you have the power to change your life. I think it is uh, very true to the book. I mean, Lauren Oliver wrote the book and did an amazing job of balancing sort of the psychology and the emotions of Sam and her character arc, but with a more sort of mysterious driving plot. It had a really unique combination of those two things and that was captured in the screenplay by Maria Magenti in terms of really taking Sam on a journey and the truth and the grounded authenticity, I think, of all of the characters. Watch out for the truck. What truck? A lot of books are uh, able to capture being inside the mind of somebody so well. And when that translate, it doesn't always translate in the context of a film. And I think you did such a beautiful job of making sure that pe the audience is with Sam throughout the entire journey of the film. It's a very subjective experience when watching the movie and a subjective movie and that you are really in her head the whole time. And I would say that you did such a fantastic job in terms of putting the audience in your mind. You have to appreciate what she had to go through. Exactly. Because she's shooting a scene, and then she's got to go quickly change while we're on that same set, and then it's a different day, and she's got to keep track of all of these different days emotions. and emotions yeah. and, and where things are going and psychologies and wardrobe and, and everything. And it was a whole Rubik's Cube while being incredibly emotional. So we used it's to like, make fun of your notebook. Her notebook was like, <laughs> like what's that book from Harry Potter, the one that has like teeth and comes out? <laughs> it was literally yeah. just like alive. We did not shoot it in sequential day order, so we weren't shooting it day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, which would have also been challenging to block shoot that also, but the nature of shooting a, a low budget film, we had to do what we had to do. So we would shoot day one, day six, day four, day three, whatever the, whatever the schedule was that day and I had certain techniques that we together Ryan and I formed like different names for days or different colors or different but I it was like I'm it was stupid like I did weird little details like that I should have not I don't know it was yeah. it was honestly it was uh, such a fun challenge I really I feel extremely grateful because it's a great part mm -hmm. it's a very 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 good part and um and I just wanted to do justice to it because I felt it was important and it's an important message.